hello, today I'm here with a new video and I have no idea where this video is going to go. I have no idea what this video is going to be like. But I have checked on some of my older videos and when I'm recording this I have soon had my channel in English for two years. This video will come up maybe a week later, but the 18th of August 2018 I switched from Swedish to English and I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. I don't know if it is interesting for anyone, not even for me, but I wanted to talk about what I've changed these two years and how I feel and if I'm going to continue doing in English or not and maybe talk a little bit why I changed to English from Swedish to English I don't know this might be a short video this might be a long video I have nothing to do I am like I can't do a get read with me about everything every time I want to talk about something I can't do a get read with me so I'm just going to sit here share a little bit maybe be distracted by something, I don't know, and I am sitting pretty close to the camera because Astrid is sleeping behind the chair so I can't move it back. I could move the camera, but okay. So I started my YouTube channel in 2014? Is it really that early? I don't know, but I think so, and I had my channel in Swedish and I did some vlogs, some makeup things, some haul things like makeup declutters and stuff like that and for you who aren't from Sweden like the biggest thing in Sweden when it comes to YouTube is lifestyle like vlogs and stuff like that makeup isn't that popular they are some bigger channels when it comes to makeup in Swedish, but it's not that many because most of the Swedes doesn't want to look at it and I have a feeling that in Sweden the people that watch the most YouTube are younger. I might be wrong, I don't know, but that is my thoughts. It feels like when you go over to the English side of YouTube, it is a lot of older people as well, because I myself as older. But yeah, there weren't and there isn't a lot of makeup channels in Swedish and I felt after a couple of years when I have had my channel in Swedish that I wanted to focus more about makeup. But I was like, I can never... Nobody's going to watch it, <laughs> is what I felt like. So I was planning to take the step to do my channel in English. and. One big inspiration I had was Paulina from Paulina's Beauty. She did the same. She switched to English and I was so impressed by her. And first I was like, I can never do that. I am not that good at English. And for you who doesn't know, in Sweden we all learn English from a very young age. Because we just do in school and I have learned English from that I was 8 to 18 I think and we watch a lot of TV shows and uh, movies and everything in English so a lot of Swedes know English really good <laughs> because we are just it is just like that I think we are one of the top countries to speak English and not have it as our first language don't quote me on that, but I think it's something like that. We are in the third or fourth place or something. Um, where were I? Yeah, so I was like, okay, I want to really focus on makeup and I'm going to try to do it in English. And <laughs> I was so nervous. I don't know if this is a common thing about for everyone or if it's maybe just me or if it's just people in Sweden and I don't like to sit this close, but... But I was so, so worried that I was going to say something wrong, like got the wrong term, say the wrong word, can't come up with the word. <laughs> like the first maybe year 
when I went over to English, I was so, so worried about that. And then I was like, fuck it. If I say something wrong, people, I think you understand me. Even if I say a wrong word or something. And it has been like the best decision I ever took to do my channel in English. Sometimes I feel like if I should do all my Swedish videos private, I don't know why, but sometimes it's just, it's not me anymore. But I'm not ashamed over the older videos, but now I am a makeup channel. And I really like that. And I think it's fun to do makeup. And one thing that <laughs> I do not do makeup on a daily basis because I go up too early to work and I don't have the time. If I would do my makeup before work, I would have to like go up at 4 a.m. and I'm not doing that. So I love to have this outlet because I think it's really really fun to play with makeup and I always see myself, I am not a creative person in any way. I have a shitty handwriting, I can't paint, I can't like draw anything but with makeup I can at least do something and have like an outlet. And I think it's fun and I am so so happy that I took the step and that I'm doing it. And some things that I have changed with myself under these two years is I have done color. Colorful looks, colorful looks, colorful looks. And there also was Paulina that inspired me to go over to this. I sometimes though can miss to make normal eyeshadow looks. I did a lot of them when I had my English, no, my channel in Swedish. I did more neutral and I did lashes and I didn't own that much makeup as I do now. I own too much makeup right now, but at the same time I miss it. But I love this colorful life and this septum ring. Why did I put this in instead? I don't know. I love this colorful life and the best thing under these two years is all the friends I have got here on YouTube. I am so grateful and all of my subscribers that I got. I have grown, in my world I think I've grown a lot these two years. I know for some I maybe hasn't grown at all and I start to feel you are pretty many that watches me now. And I feel a little bit nervous about that. In one way I really love to see like the subscriber count go up. At the same time I don't really care because I'm just happy to do this. And I don't care about subscribers. But a part of me is also like stop. Stop, stop, stop. I don't want any more people to find me. Because I think it's a little bit scary actually. I don't know how people like can get used to have that many followers how it makes me scared i don't know why it's just you and okay now i i i, I don't know what to say i just f felt like i wanted to chat with you i don't know why that is like the only thing i can miss with doing only makeup related things I miss to talk to my followers. Yes, I do some get ready with me's, but it's like maybe two videos a month. And I like to share things. And I want to find like a better balance between that. I try to do some um, tea time. I think it was called, I think I did two of them. They weren't that popular, so I didn't do any more. But I really want to maybe not get that private, but a little more personal. I think that is the correct term. Because every time I do get read with me and I talk about some more personal stuff, there are a lot of you that see yourself in me and have the same feelings. And that makes me happy when I get comments like that because it feels like I help you and you help me. And I really like that. And 
patch on my face. And what more do I want to say? I don't know. This is going to be a short video and I was like, okay, this is going to be a long video. But other things that have changed these last two years, I have bought a new camera. I love my new camera because it has autofocus. Finally, I have bought studio lights that helped me a lot. I'm still not that good with the technical things with the camera and the studio lighting. I think it's okay and I think I'm going to be happy like this with the studio lights and the settings because it's a jungle and I'm not that technical. And also the newest thing I did was to buy a microphone and I, I don't know if the sound is better. I hope it is. But I don't know, I, I don't think it's worse at least, but I don't know if it's that much better, but it feels good to have a microphone in one way. It feels like it picked up a lot of sounds before I got the microphone. I don't know. Is this video is even coming up on my channel? I don't know. I just, I just wanted to talk about some things and I don't know how else to talk about it. But I am sorry if I scared some of you in the beginning. I'm not going back to Swedish because I like to have my channel in English, actually. I have become so much better with... <laughs> okay. Wait. I have become so much better to speak English um, during these two years. And also at work, some is, somebody's, some, some of my co-workers said, you speak better English now and I was like yes I know and I think one part of that is I'm not afraid to say something wrong and if I do I don't always cut it out I did it in the beginning and now I sometimes keep it because I just do one thing though I think it's hard with speaking English that isn't my first language I don't feel like my personality comes out. I think if you would meet me in real life, I don't know if you would be disappointed or not, but it feels like my whole personality isn't coming out when I'm speaking not my first language. I don't know, maybe some of you that has met me in real life can tell me <laughs> how that is. I think when I, I and Jessica, me and Jessica did our live stream, I think there I was more myself. I don't know why, but with Jessica I feel so comfortable in front of the camera when we have done our get ready with us as well. I really feel like myself when I talk to her in front of the camera more than I do when I'm alone. Maybe that sounds strange, I don't know. But it just feels like I'm more myself and I'm really trying to show more of my personality, especially now when it's always getting a little bit easier with language. I think, or maybe it's time to end the I don't know, it feels like on my YouTube channel I want to be more professional than I am in real life and more like put together. I am not a put together person, I am not like... What is even the English word for it? I got dark humor, it doesn't show in my videos and I am so sarcastic. In real life, I don't think that show on camera either. It's because I, for some reason, it always felt like YouTube, I have to be professional. And where am I going with this? I have no idea. I have been thinking about for a long time to do like a video comparing Swedish and English YouTubers, but I don't know if that is a good idea. I don't know if it is going to be such bad video but there is such a big difference i feel at least both in the viewers and with um, the creators 
But maybe it's not a good idea to do it. I don't think it's a good idea. And now I'm going to be a little bit restless. And I'm... For some reason I feel a little bit nervous. I don't know why. I'm just sitting here and talking to a camera. Okay, is it something more I want to get off my chest? Do you see here? My little friend is here. Oh, a lot of things to check. A lot of things to watch. And that is you. She doesn't like to sit in the lap or like this that much. But no. It was pretty good. Now she wants to go down. We gave her for her first real bath today. She was actually really good. She didn't do anything bad. Now she's coming. She was really good. Uh, she got a lot of candy when she was done. But it's like she's white and she is like everywhere. So she was kind of dirty if you say it like that. And do I would love yeah can move back a little bit I would love if you could tell me what you want to see more on my channel if I'm not I'm never going to do a vlog and I'm going to continue with my get ready with me's and then it's mostly going to be about makeup but I in some way want to be a little bit more personal I don't know how to fit that in and I don't know what she's doing but if there are anything special you want me to do, please let me know. Maybe do a get ready with me when I talk about more personal stuff. Um, please let me know. Now I have been sitting here for almost 20 minutes talking about all and nothing. And <laughs> I should just go and wash this makeup off. Hang out with my boyfriend a little bit, maybe. I'm still on vacation, actually. Or off work, the summer like leave, and I took three and a half weeks, and I was like, I should have taken more. Now when I'm recording it, it has gone two weeks, so I, I have one, one and a half week left, and I am so restless. It's almost like I want to go back to work just to have something to do. I'm always like this every 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 vacation. But I'm going up to my mother soon and we're also going to do something exciting. Maybe I don't want to talk about that. Uh, if it's happened, I'm going to talk about it. If it doesn't, you will never know. But okay, I think I just want will end this now. Uh, because I don't know what more to say and uh, this is going to maybe not never come up. and. This has been the least interesting video I have ever done, I think. And now I do this again. I push myself down. But yeah, <laughs> I really hope you like this 20 minute long talk about nothing. I just wanted to... I don't know. I just wanted to record something, but I didn't know what. So this is what it has come, come to. But yeah, I'm going to end this here. I'm going to hang out with my boyfriend, the cats, uh, maybe eat something, but we doesn't have any good things to eat, and it's late. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video, and please let me know if you want to see, I don't know what you want to see, <laughs> please let me know what you want to see. I might have some big plans for next year i am going to do a get ready with me and talk about what i might have for plans next year i feel i need to do a get ready with me and do my makeup at the same time because it feels like i'm better to talk about things than just only sitting here it is one thing i don't know what you're going to think about that I don't know what I think about it. I start to think about it 
today and I can't get that out of my head but I will do a get read with me about that talk about my feelings regarding that subject and yeah because right now I don't know if I am in a good place with my YouTube channel I don't know um, I am fine you do not need to worry about me I am fine but yeah that was all for this video and now I'm just going to stop talking maybe I don't know what I'm going to do hang out with my boyfriend and the cats I've already said it but yeah I really hope you like this video and don't worry about me I'm fine but yeah I really hope you like this video but who will like this video I don't know but yeah, I hope I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Hopefully that will be a more fun video. Mm, it might be... What is she doing? I hope I will see you in the next one and I hope it will be a better video. Bye.